Hello everyone. I hope you are doing great. Welcome to our course on algorithms. I am Ajay Adar, your instructor for this course on algorithms. So in today's like today's video, we are going to cover what are the different topics that we are going to cover throughout the lecture. So let's start. I hope my screen is visible. So we'll start with the first chapter. The first chapter is introduction to the algorithms. And in this, we will understand what is algorithm, what are the different real life use cases where algorithms are being used. And then we will going to study about the different kind of annotations. So big O annotations, big omega annotation, big theta annotation, and why algorithm analysis is required. So how do you compare which algorithms is more efficient? So that's these kind of the things we will study under this topic algorithm analysis. Then we will study different methods through it, which you can analyze your algorithms you can analyze its time complexity or the speed com time complexity or space complexity then we will understand what are the different orders of the time complexity which is smaller which is taking long time and why it is taking the long time then we are going to understand the the second chapter we are study about the searching so there are the two type of searching linear search and the binary search and uh, here we are going to also compare these two algorithms based on the algorithm analysis that we have studied in the previous chapters and then in the we will take the real life examples to understand why binary search is efficient and when binary search can be applied on the algorithms moving to the next chapter we are going covering third third chapter is on the sorting so before going to the sorting first we are going to cover how memory works in the basic real life example and then understand array and the list data structures then understanding the rationale behind these data structure which one should use and which one not should not be used so it just it is not just the theoretical knowledge we will understand all these things with the practical real life examples once these two basics are being covered then we will study individual sorting algorithms like selection sort insertion sort and the bubble sort and there are other sorting algorithms for example merge quick radix uh, and these kind of sorting algorithms but i'm not covering those algorithms in this topic because there is a purpose behind that to study it in different chapters then we are going to study about the recursion and here we will understand what is the basic recursion and how the same problem can be solved using the recursion as well as the iterations which one is efficient and the why then taking the real life examples of the recursion then we will study here the data structure that is the stack data structure and then stack data structure how the function calls then whenever you write the code in any programming language you call the functions so how that whole stack works and how it is actually stored in the memory so these things we are going to study in the chapter number four now in chapter number five we will study about the divide and conquer strategy so if your program is big and the complex how you can break them into the smaller problems and solve individual small problems right so that is the strategy behind divide and conquer but yeah definitely we are going to cover that in details with multiple real life examples then we will start with the quick sort so previously in the sorting algorithms we have not covered the quick sort that was the reason because we want to study it in the divide and conquer strategy and then we will study in the what is the base case for the quick sort how the partitioning algorithm works and then the algorithm pseudo code as well as the implementation in the java so we are going to cover everything right now the merge sort and one of the key idea to give here is the for example if you talk about the quick sort it's average case complexity is n log n and worst case complexity is n square merge sort complexity is always o n log n right so this is always n log n it is but in worst case is n square but still we say that the quick sort is better than the merge sort so why that right so we are going to study that in the details apart from that the time complexity of the quick sort yeah we quickly study that is, is n log n in average case and square in case sort but why right so the question is why is we are going to study in this particular part now moving to the hash table and has table first thing that we need to understand we don't focus on the theoretical knowledge right we want to focus on the how practical real life example works right? so first we are going to study why what is the need of the hash table with the real life example then we are going to study about the hash function how uh, hash tables are being constructed what are the properties of the hash function should be there then real life 
implementation so for example some of the problems here we will cover from the system design right so you give the system design interview and things are being asked how we can make the for example server more efficient right i will study all the examples here then we'll st study for example in the same hash tables if two values lies in the same bucket then there will be the collision so we'll study about the collision how collision will be resolved on how collision can be avoided yeah these are the basic data structures and algorithms then we'll going to cover the graph graph is one of the most important questions in the from the university perspective or as the, the company's interviews you are giving for uh, either even the funk big companies right so we was going to study about the graph then we are going to study about the what are the shortest path algorithms so there are the different shortest path here single pair single source sort of shortest path single destination shortest path single pair shortest path or all pair shortest path we are going to cover all these algorithms but in this we are first focusing on the bfs algorithms where we are going to study the real life examples algorithms implementation in java what's the time complexity it takes and similar things we are going to cover for the other algorithms so we are going to cover the bfs dicastra bellman ford and cloud varsal then the time complexities then another important concept comes spanning tree so we are going to study what is the spanning tree and the how spanning tree is, what are the different algorithms to construct the spanning tree so we are going to study the kruskal and the prims we will study what is the difference between these two algorithms and so this mostly covers our graph algorithm we can definitely go in more details but for this particular course we are covering the basic algorithms as well as the data structure so for that particular part yeah this is complete and i will introduce an advanced course on the graph so for that i will cover more things in the details and here in the heap data heap i will study we will study here the heap data structure then building heaps how you can insert and delete from the heap then we will finally we will study about the heap sort and every topic that i mentioned it covers all these things right so whatever we covered here real life example algorithm implementation and the time complexity every algorithm covers here and then greedy algorithms so for greedy algorithm what is we have to find the global optimal solution with a local optimal solution so this is all about the yeah basically at the high level this is the everything with local optimal we have to find the global optimal and under that we will cover different problems so for example timetable arrangement knapsack knapsack we will cover zero one knapsack fractional knapsack half management coding optimal merge tree job sequencing and actually the spanning tree problem we have covered in the graph but there are also the part of the greedy algorithm they solved with the algorithms of the greedy so the same thing exactly we will cover going to cover here and at the end once we cover all these algorithms then we will study some of the real life examples of these algorithms where they are actually used in the industry at a very high large scale right so these are the key topics i hope you will enjoy this lecture and if you like please press the like button thank you